Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to make a video uh, in order to show you how to use um, rotary encoder for embedded application. Uh, this is one of the rotary encoder. I put a cap on top of it so that I can rotate it easily and also keep remembered the position, its position. Okay. Here is the data sheet, simple data sheet. You can find more information from the data sheet available in internet. There are three pins basically A, C and B. Uh, if you, you have to add 10 kilo ohm resistor here and 0.1 microfarad capacitor here. Similarly for the general B2, uh, in order to basically tackle the debounce, this is called debounce, okay. Uh, there is another part of the data sheet that you have to understand how it works exactly. Uh, there are two channels, those uh, uh, waveform basically will uh, like a uh, uh, square wave will continue uh, for each rotation there will be 24 pulse that means 24 each um, each channel will have 24 pulses but the channel there is a difference like a 90 degree difference from the channel a and channel b so if we can use wisely we can have four state that gives us 96 pulse per rotation which is very important basically if we want to create more resolution here is another program that I have written in order just to read different value uh, and um, I, I have used interrupt in the both pin interrupt and finally got the value and display to the LCD so my I got the this code from YouTube that I'm going to share with you in this video so that you can copy in from there and also have much more um, explanation I, I have to modify it I have to tell you that I have to modify it in order to make it work the way it is in the YouTube it will not work so here is the main circuit you can see there are many parts available many connections I'm going to show you if, how it looks like when it goes for one direction it will go to 96 and I'm going to that far and coming back now I'm going to reverse direction you can see is going down it will become at some point negative number which is very useful basically okay so here is my video if you need the code uh, i would recommend you to go to my website and donate few dollars so that i can give you the code and i'll give you the whole schematic so that i can make everything work okay thanks you guys